like an inferno. I mean, it, it was, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, really. I a Louisville woman says she lost everything she owns after a fire destroyed her apartment building, and she hopes the community can help lend a helping hand. You're watching Wave News at 11. I'm Noelle Friel. Louisville Fire said almost 40 firefighters battled the fire on Douglas Boulevard around 3 a.m. Friday. Their efforts helped stop the fire from spreading to nearby buildings. The two people inside the building made it out, but one woman was sent to the hospital with injuries. Wave News reporter Brandon Spencer talked to that woman and joins us with her her recollection of that night. Yeah, Noelle, well, Lisa Duvall told me that she is still in shock after watching her whole life literally go up in flames, leaning on her faith and newfound support system to help her rise from the ashes. I couldn't, I just couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. Less than 48 hours after her life changed forever, Lisa Duvall is still trying to figure out what went wrong. She says she got home from work and was watching TV on her couch with her dog when she says she smelled plastic burning. Something told me to, to sit up and look over my shoulder to the, to the living room area and I just saw this big, bright red light and, and I thought it was the next door neighbors and I was like, oh my God, something's happening. Duval says she then opened the door to her kitchen and was pushed back by a huge cloud of smoke realizing then that it was her home in jeopardy. Duval then slammed the door and ran for her life, grabbing the things that meant the most to her. And the most important thing that came to my mind, of course, my dog, that she was right there with me, and I, was, I thought, I'm grabbing the picture of my family. And I ran, and I grabbed it off my mantle, and I ran. In the process, Duval says she fractured her hand and says she's in pain, but doesn't remember how she did it. But what she does know is that she feels lucky to be alive. If I wouldn't have been in that front room at that time, if I would have been in, my, in the bedroom, if I would have, I, I, I wouldn't have gotten out. I wouldn't have gotten out. One of the biggest losses for Duvall though was her car, something she worked so hard to get, gone in a flash. But from the rubble, Duvall says she found a picture of her beloved parents unscathed giving her a sign that she still has so much to live for. I think that's what holds me up. He won't let me fall. This has fallen, but I'm here for a reason, and he, he's, he's keeping me going. Now, Duval says she walked out of the building with just her dog, her family picture, and her nightgown, not knowing what to do next, but she was comforted by her neighbors and best friend who are doing all they can to help her get by. Support, she feels, has helped save her life. If you'd like to help, you can donate to her GoFundMe found at our website, wave3.com. Brandon Spencer, Wave News.